A few months ago, a stray dog was seen walking the streets of Pembroke. After many attempts to catch him, some local residents used hamburgers to lure him in. Since then, Burger the dog has gone through many medical procedures and had many ticks removed from his body. Today, he is a friendly, loving dog enjoying a second chance that he got from his new owners. PCN visited his new family in Pembroke to get a first-hand look at his new home. We just went to drive down there to see if maybe we could spot him. And I brought my girl dog with me, and sure enough, out of the woods he came. And basically, he would get within probably 10, 15 feet of us, but he would not get any closer. He would let my dog go right up to him. They pay, would play and wrestle. Um, but he was very comfortable with all the other dogs, just he did not want a single person near him. So after Tanya was giving him, you know, cheeseburger after cheeseburger, just trying to get him to come, he would take it, but he would take it from 10 feet away. You had to throw it to him, and you had to back off. If not, he didn't want any part of it. Um, so we just kept doing that for about two, two and a half hours, and we gave him water, and as soon as Tanya had pulled out a water bottle, he was so excited, um, but he still didn't want to take it, so we had to basically cut up a cup so he could drink some water in the middle of the road. And then we just kept trying and trying. And then we tried to block him into someone's backyard, and that wasn't working. So finally, the fact that he loved my dog so much, I ended up just pulling my truck up, putting my dog in the back seat, and then opening the tailgate. And my dog, I just coaxed her and just got her to cry. So I just kept saying, what's the matter? What's the matter? And she was wailing and crying. Um, and basically, it stressed him out enough for about 20 minutes because he was crying because he wanted her. And sure enough, after about 20, 25 minutes, he just hopped in the back of my truck and I shut the tailgate. And then at that point, we were just excited because we knew he wasn't going to be out in the cold another night. <laughs> Pembroke Animal Hospital, where they basically just gave him a quick look over, saw he was covered in ticks. They gave him the Advantix, said not to bathe him for a few days. And at that point, I just took him home with me, cleared out an entire room of furniture. My boyfriend picked him for over an hour, had like more than 40 ticks, and it was just kind of endless. Of course, we fed him, and he just kept eating and eating and eating and drinking. But then he was also marking the walls. He would go to the bathroom on the floor and walk through it. And he never made a peep until finally we were going to bed. We shut all the lights off, and he just started baying in the back room. So his middle name's actually Bayo, because he does this long, low Bayo. He doesn't know sit, he doesn't know paw, he doesn't know stay, he doesn't know come. He basically does not know a single command. But now, I think just for the fact every time I do tell him to come, I give him a treat. So he does come now. And I think he just wants the attention. So if I'm moving around the yard raking, he's pretty much following me right behind, laying in my piles, standing in front of the rake, because he just wants a good rub down. But he's shown no signs of aggression whatsoever. He's just very, very, I don't know, it's like he's very calm. Like, he's very happy. And then someone said his story's been shared over a thousand times. Now it's over 2,000 times. And just hearing the nice comments of people who, you know, they have rescues. Whether or not they went out and got them themselves, you know, they still have a rescue. And just, it's really supportive to hear all those stories. Just knowing that, you know, he is going to adapt and feel better and... Just the vets, um, obviously his vet bills are going to be really high. So just knowing that we set up a fund, and within 24 hours, I think he had like four or $500. So some people would do five, some people go up to 100, and I just think that's amazing.